not a killer anymore. Don't you get it? You're not in your right mind. You call yes. Finish this now. Parker! Parker, are you there? Peter! Peter! I'm trying to tell myself that I'm just jealous of Walker Sloan's progress. It was only five years ago that he first showed up at Alchemax talking about harnessing energy from the fourth dimension. Now he won't stop until he's running the place. I know his type. He's thinking beyond Alchemax, aiming towards who knows what. He's the exact type of corporate monster I've sworn to rein in. Especially if he's mucking with time travel. The year 2099 might not be much, but it's all mine. And he's not going to change it. He's been siphoning Alchemax resources into converting the gateway and the old virtual unreality lab into something else. Something dangerous. I've tried talking to him, but he's got no time for Miguel O'Hara. But people make time for Spider-Man. Just use the convenient access to the ventilation system to get inside, and then Walker and I can have a little chat. Whatever Sloan's up to, I've got to shut it down before he gets in over his head and drags everyone and everything down with him. I see they've been keeping busy in the cybernetics division. Well, it's a lot of shocking robots down there. During the day, as Miguel O'Hara, Alchemax geneticist, I could have walked right in. But at night, the security protocols kick in. genetics lab. Without that department, I wouldn't be the man I am today. Sloan's gotta be around here. 
here somewhere. I just know it. You'd think the largest tech developer in the world could afford to carpet their air ducts for extra comfort. Holographic assistant, online. How may I serve you, Mr. Sloan? Hello, Joseph. Run a final check and initiate security bioscans. Preparing systems, Mr. Sloan. This won't take long. Bioscan sequence initiated. Access to time research lab granted, Mr. Sloan. Slow down, Miguel. Take your time. Don't want to get caught here. Al Kamex should be thanking me. Stark Fujikawa Industries is going to take over this entire corporation. Unless someone steps up to demand it. You're the only one who thinks outside the box enough to do it, sir. Yes, Joseph, I know. I knew he was up to something. I'm almost embarrassed it took me so long to come up with it. I simply go back in time and launch Alchemax years before it was originally founded. Not only can I remake Alchemax in my image, but you can dismantle Stark Fujikawa before it gets started. You're a genius, sir. I programmed you well, Joseph. Oh no, you don't get away from me that easily. Of course the CEO will want me to have that degree of power. He's all about power. But he won't have anything to say about it by the time I'm done. Security scan sequence initiated. He's heading for his time research lab, all right. There's an access point near the generator. Am I the only newspaper man in the city that realizes what a menace that webhead is? 
Oh, uh, Jonah, um, indoor voice, okay? I'm trying to get Mary Jane on the phone. People lionizing that freak. Next thing you know, there'll be a musical about him with a chorus line of dancing Spider-Man. I'd pay to see that. Oh, Mary Jane, hi. Go see a show. Uh, MJ, I, I would love to, but I'm working with Dr. Octavius in the genetics lab on a DNA project. I had to download a sample of my own DNA into the permanent Alchemax genetic files. I'm still waiting for some test results. Permanent files, huh? Great, so a hundred years from now we can clone you. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Well, how about I come there and we grab a late dinner afterward, okay, Tiger? Yeah, sure, it's okay. Anything for you, babe. And I love when you call me Tiger. It's like a blast from the past. Lunatic actually did it, and I saw it all. Intruder in time research lab. Maximum force can be used. They're great. Robot sentries. I'm not sure I can take them right now. Maybe I can draw them off. Move fast enough to distract them with some decoys. Peter. Peter Parker. Who's that? Who's talking? Miguel O'Hara, the Spider-Man from 2099. Are, are the other me's in my head, too? No. It's just me and you, old-timer. I threw together a chronal link program using a sample of your DNA. It's allowing me to communicate with you at the point in time it was taken. I just wish it was from earlier on. We have almost no time. Time until what? Until you're killed. Un until I'm what now? Because it kind of sounded like you said kill. Listen, a lunatic named Walker Sloan from 2099 created a time gateway. It was a one-way trip that dumped him sometime in the 1970s. He then used his advanced knowledge to build Alchemax, years before it was supposed to be established, transforming your world and mine. But I work for Alchemax. You're saying that's somehow wrong? Completely. At this point in time, you earn a living taking news pictures for J. Jonah Jameson. <laughs> The late-night ranting TV news guy? <laughs> forget it. You can't forget it. Where does this so-called death happen? Sloane's building another gateway on the 66th floor, so he can finally travel back and forth. I saw you being killed, right there. By who? I couldn't make it out. It doesn't matter. Get out of the building. So a crazed killer can wander around the building without me to stop him? No way. Besides, if I find this guy somewhere else, then I'm invincible. Because I can only die at the gateway, right? It's not an exact science, Parker. Meaning what? You want to spend an hour getting a crash course on temporal physics? No? Then do what I say. <laughs> You've got a lot to learn about priorities, pal. I'm gonna do what I think is right, and that means going after bad guys. You want a Spider-Man who'll do whatever you want? Go play a video game. What was that? spider sense. <laughs> Save yourself from me! Eddie Brock? Anti-Venom? He's the one gunning for me? But he's reformed! Hostile intruder detected in Sector AC-78. I've got the intruder sight. Are there teleporting guards in? That's spiffy new tech. All employees, we are in a state of Apologize for any inconvenience or possible loss of life. Thank you. What? What did you say? I can't hear you. We need to work out the kinks of this time travel communications thing if it's gonna have any hope of catching on. Parker, focus on what's important. I am, which is why I'm heading up to the 66th floor. If that's where we're supposed to butt heads, maybe I could draw them out en route. I'm gonna go look for an elevator. Do you want to die? Of course not. But I want to run away even less.
elevator I'm in just changed into a closet. Huh. Rock just tried to kill me with an elevator. Weird coincidence. Maybe not. Wait, 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 what? Something I did here had an effect on you in 2099? That's impossible. Well, theoretically, it's not. The idea is called quantum causality. The two gateways created a link between our times. Like a wormhole through the fourth dimension. Right. Normally changing the past just creates an alternate timeline. But thanks to the wormhole, what you do there affects my time, and vice versa. So I can change things here, now, that can immediately change things in the future? That's amazing. Spectacular, even. The security system has all the entrances blocked. I gotta come back here after I take out the security mainframe. Parker, my path to the 66th floor is blocked by some kind of force field. Welcome to my world. Thank you for shopping, Alphamax. Do come again. I'm about to destroy the security mainframe. How you doing, O'Hara? You still stuck? Yeah. Now listen and learn, newbie. Ta -da! That's all both the problems, right? My force field just changed into centuries. Robot guards. This whole quantum causality thing is a real wild card. I can't control if it makes things better or worse. Well, at least I can get through the door now. This is getting absurd. All units converge. So, this quantum causality, could it run both ways? Affecting my time as well as yours? Impossible. Because it's happening. All the bad guys are just pros. Yeah, and by that I mean it's possible. You're holding back, Eddie. Do you realize this time travel story of yours is gonna cost me my job? It's not your job. It's not even your reality. Yeah, that's what you keep saying. But how do you know? Because I do. And deep down, so do you. Now let me concentrate. I have my own problems right now. Yeah, well, I can't help you with that. Maybe you can. Parker, you're making this harder for me, not easier. I told you trying to control this quantum causality thing was a stupid idea. They said penicillin was stupid too. You're talking about the fabric of reality, not bread mold. Just get pretty to help me. Bread mold. Sheesh. I cannot believe his crust. There. The elevator I need is right at the end of this hallway. Parker, I'm in a jam and you put me there. Hey, I was having a quiet evening until you started talking inside my head. Don't blame me for this. All right, fine. What do you need me to do? O'Hara? Great. He's gone. travel expert. How do I... Wait, 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 wait. What if I just trash the robotic research facility? Is that worth a try? Anything's worth a try. Stop yelling at me! I'm just learning about this whole quantum causality thing. Learn faster! Okay, I'm there. I'll destroy the prototype parts and we'll see what happens. At least one of us will. Life is depending on a theory. Believe it! You still with me, O'Hara? Faster! Faster would be better! I'm doing my best! Best! Not good enough! No! O'Hara! O'Hara, there's nothing left here in the trash. You still there? <sighs> For the most part. Did they turn into something else? Like, I don't know, kittens? Yeah. Small metal 
Robotic killer kittens. Aww. Thanks for getting me out of there. Kind of proves the quantum causality theory. Well, just tell me who wins the next ten World Series. Who called you? The world what? You're killing me, O'Hara. I'm not. But you will if you go to the 66th floor. 66th floor, I know. And we both know I'll do what I have to do. Okay, fine. If plan A, keeping you out of danger isn't working, then we'll go for plan B. I'll get down to my own 66th floor, see if we can solve this thing. I'll try not to die. Max isn't kidding around. Parker, slow down. Wait for me to get to my 66th floor. Instead of my slowing, how about you hurry? Ah, figures. Parker, a hallway here just changed. It wasn't me. Maybe Brock will smash the wall or something. I'm just trying to stay alive. If you were, you'd clear out. But you have to prove your bravery. Bravery? Dude, there is nothing I would like better than to just hightail it out of here. Then why the shock don't you? Because what I do here matters, okay? Beyond changing hallways into elevators, it matters. And that's just something I have to live with, even if it means I die with it. You get it, O'Hara? Of course. There's no security pass on them. Why should anything be easy? There's got to be a key pass around here. Attention intruder. So, where are you? Nearly where you don't want me to be. Slow down, would you? How about you speed up? Yeah, I'll get right on that. Only way to move fast enough is to go free fall in the elevator shaft. Shortest distance between two points is a straight line. On my way, Parker. Parker? Oh, well, that's ominous. Reaches his own 66th floor ahead of me. Parker, you're hanging in there. Oh, sure. Hanging, crawling, leaping. All part of the service. And you can stop worrying about me, Mommy. Especially since I'm the one who keeps having to bail you out. I'll keep worrying until this is done. How close are you to the 66th floor? Parker? Shh, shut up. I just spotted Brock. I'll be in touch. Parker! Parker, are you... Oh, I've got to wrap this thing up before it turns into an even bigger disaster than it already is. At least there's an alternate route. It'll slow me, but I can still get to the 66th floor from here. Supplying backup as required. Sixth floor. Where are you? Is this anti venom still hiding? I'm face to pasty face with anti venom. Eddie, 
You're responsible for the explosions? Trying to blow you up. If you were really trying, you'd have done it. What's going on? Kill you. Now. What's happening there, Parker? Anti-Venom's fighting himself more than he is me. Subcutaneous control chips would do the job. How dangerous is this guy? He drains my powers on contact, and he's invisible to my spider sense. Terrific. But where are you now, and can you avoid Anti-Venom? 66th floor, and yeah, maybe I could avoid him. Plus, if his explosions bring the building down, people for blocks around will be killed. Gotta find a way to get Eddie Brock free of whatever's controlling him. There you are. Eddie, you're being controlled. Fight it. Fight you instead. He took off again. Yeah, if only you'd do the same. O'Hara, if you don't get that I can't turn my back on danger, no matter what the cost, then you've got no business calling yourself Spider-Man. Wow, I'm hurt. Guess what else I am? Still alive. Let's hope you get to keep saying the same thing. We've been a lot of things to each other, Eddie, but you've never been anyone's patsy. Oh, good. Stand there and call him names. Great plan. This is scarce. Eddie, listen. You've got a chip inside you that's making you do this. Just making it easier. The longer that thing's in you, the more it's rewiring your thinking. No. No, it's a cat. Parker, what are you doing? Because it's causing major problems here. I've got to get the atomic energy regulators out of the way so they're not destroyed. So, I'm in danger of frying from radiation because of explosions on your end? Hey, you're the one who told me about quantum causality. Yeah, well... Now I'm telling you to fix this. Sheesh, what a grouch. Okay, O'Hara, the first regulator's safe. The radiation level is dropping, but my costume's providing me some protection from it, but it's not gonna last forever. And just give me a minute to take care of the other two regulators. A minute's about all I have. Blacked out from that. I've gotten the second regulator to safety. Is it still affecting things on your end? Yeah, it, it's still dropping, but the cumulative effect, if it's not stopped entirely. Have body parts started falling off yet? No, I'm still in one. What do you mean yet? Are you planning to make this go away or not? You know, you gotta learn to lighten up. I'll take care of the last one, everything will be fine. Heck, <laughs> you're not the one who send up as a human nightlight. Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? This door should do the job. Okay. Better than okay. I'm back up to full strength. I hate to admit it, but this quantum causality thing of yours is actually pretty effective. No, oh, glad you approve. You know, for something that makes no freaking sense at all. Back off, Eddie! You're a puppet! Fight the puppet master, not me! Difficult for me to... You don't know what you're doing! I know enough. You have to die. Or we both can live. You think you're so much better than I am. Acting like 
You're so worried about me. I'm worried about what you'll do to other people. And yeah, to me. But if you can fight it... He can't. Trust me. Oh yeah, I always trust people who are trying to kill me. So you're the head lunatic. Well, we haven't been properly introduced. I'm the guy who's gonna stop your plans. Good luck with that. Anti-venom? Finish him. Can't! Can't! Impressive resistance, but activating all the control chips, releasing your more bestial side, should do the trick. <laughs> Done here? Huh. I'm not that. Miguel! Good news. Turns out you were wrong. <laughs> Hope that doesn't wound your ego. What? You think if you die, I'll be happy to be right? Well, I don't think you're happy to be wrong. Well, then you know as little about me as you think I know about you. What I know is that Brock looks to be down for the count. Better make sure, though. So, can we call this one a wrap, Eddie? Maybe go grab some coffee, laugh about it? Okay, guess I can go back now and take out Sloan once and for all. Oh, okay, great, no spider sense. No, no. Ah! I'm trying to cure you. Go cure yourself. <sighs> nice try. Didn't work. Yes, it did. Now to finish the job. And you is messing with your power. Fight it, Eddie. You're about to die. Eddie, don't you get it? This is your chance to take back your mind. You can end this now. Yes, end this. Good. By ending you. You might get to be right after all. Believe me, that's the last thing I want. Calm down, Ziggy. You made it. I'm about to reach the gateway room. And when you get there, then what? Don't worry. Yeah. Why would I? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Parker, it's another time distortion blocking my way. <sighs> Don't blame me. I'm not blaming anyone. I need to find another way to the gateway room.
Um, O'Hara, you uh, might want to get a move on. Just hold on a little longer. Are you kidding me? If Brock wasn't busy fighting what's controlling him, I'd be a blue and red splotch by now. Point taken. I'll hurry. It's getting kind of complicated on my end, but I'm almost there. You still haven't told me what happens once you get there. The only thing I can think of is to go back to your time. Swell. We'll do lunch. Parker, you still with us? Not for much longer, if Brock has anything to say about it. O'Hara, maybe I would have listened to you. You didn't keep saying shock all the time. Oh, you did listen. You just did what you had to do. I didn't think I'd have to die for it. No, you won't! Trust me! We'll get you through this. Almost! That makes two of us. Spider-Man, but I've had a hundred years to plan this. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. I kept you close to keep an eye on you, make use of you. But now you're done, and I'm done with you. O'Hara, uh, a little help? O'Hara, if you're there, I got nothing left. No power. No, no nothing. You tried to warn me. I was in the end. Stop talking about yourself in the past tense. This isn't over. Spoken like someone who oh, isn't here. I will be. Just hold on. I'm doing what I can. Come on, Parker. No words I can never say die attitude. I don't need to say it to do it. And I'm out of jokes. No way, no shocking way are you giving me brave last words! For the love Stop of whining, Octavius. You knew I was out to change the future. I didn't know the future was going to start fighting back. The forces we're unleashing with this quantum tunnel... It's under control. It's out of control. And Spider-Man is still alive to stop it. We'll just send Anti-Venom after him. The Gateway just needs a minute to recharge if it's going to send him through safely. This has to work. It has to. Gateway's powering up.
place is crawling with Spider-Man! Don't worry, Anti-Venom will step on this one. I don't understand. Why aren't Anti-Venom's powers draining his- Because mine are radiation-based, if you have to know. Didn't know. Don't care. You're just old news, A.V. Regeneration complete in three, two, one. Regeneration complete. You are fully healed, Mr. Parker. Rome spinning. I can barely stand. Where am I? 
You're in 2099, Parker. The cellular regenerator healed you. Uh, I hope my medical insurance covers that. Look, focus, Parker. We have to test the gateway. Toss something small into it. Oh, come on, O'Hara. Doesn't coming back from the dead entitle me to a breather? I... We need to see if the gateway's re-established. In every second that... Okay, 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 fine. I'm on it. I'm gonna toss a piece of junk to see if the gate's working one way. Incoming! It came through. Perfect. Huh. Plus, I'm feeling like my old self. Strength and everything. Yeah, well, it's a good thing the cellular regenerator had your DNA on record. Good. Stand back. Oh, what do you mean? I'm coming through the gateway. Wait, the return circuits are fried. I won't be able to come through even if you set it up on that end. I'll be stuck here. So fix it. I can't. The technology doesn't exist here yet. You need to find the repair parts on your side and then send them through. I'll guide you to where they are. What the heck is that? What happened? I'm looking at a tentacle the size of a Buick. Yeah, something like that came at me when the gateway first got overloaded. It looked like one of those mechanical tentacles that Otto Octavius uses in his research. Really messed up. Look, just watch out for them. There may be more. Oh, believe me, whatever's trying to kill me at any time, there's always more. So where to? Get to the hydroponic jungle. You'll find what you need there. These freaking tentacles keep showing up! Well, that's interesting. I am so glad you can maintain your scientific detachment. And why are time gateway repair parts in a jungle? Just trust me, okay? Trust me, says the voice in my head. You know, this is how serial killers get started. The claw end of the tentacle, where the joints are. That's probably the weak point. When you acquire the parts, keep them separated. Otherwise, you can wind up with a sort of energy feedback. Okay, what sort do you mean? The explosive sort. Oh, fantastic. By the way, thanks for bringing me back from the dead. Now I know how Captain America feels. And Jean Grey. And Colossus. And... Just don't die again and we'll call it even. O'Hara! What just happened? What is that? What are you talking about? I have a nice easy path in front of me and it just became an obstacle course. <laughs> Welcome to my world, literally. You're seeing quantum causality in action. Weird. So, you can help me from the present. Uh, which present? You're in my present. You mean your past present or my present future? I hate you. Okay, I'm almost there. Now what? Okay, there are three rooms in the hydro jungle. You'll find an energy regulator in each one. Take the part that looks like an atomic battery. Atomic? It'll be fine, as long as you remember that they're fragile. And if they touch you... And if they touch each other, I'm screwed. I get it. The part you need should be in the middle of the room. You can take it without risk after you deactivate the three consoles around the room. Why are these things always in threes? I have no idea. You know, that's just gonna bug me now for the rest of the day. taking bows. Those tentacles started showing up here in force. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. Security lasers. Again. Hit the switches to open the door. It's easy enough. Says you. Oh, and by the way, thanks for putting me in this fix. We're both in. Yeah, but I'm the Wii dodging lasers. Oh, 
forgot O'Hara's warning about making sure they don't touch. That was close. O'Hara, I got all three. I'm good to go. Then do it. Head back to the gateway room. On my way. <laughs> Hey, O'Hara! Those parts must have been pretty important. The jungle's starting to look like the Sahara. That couldn't be helped. The parts are rare and we need them more than a bunch of plants. Oh, damn it! O'Hara! The suicide suit is back and it just annihilated my way out. Or maybe not. It looks like it just opened up a different path. I hope you're being careful with the parts. Uh, uh O'Hara? Remember you said to keep those parts separate? Well, let's just say, uh, just for the sake of argument, that didn't work out. Just how big a bang are we talking about? It would crater the city. Why are you asking? Wait, don't tell me. Is there any way to reverse it? Not for you, there isn't. Get them to the gateway as fast as you can. Them in time. That smells like a sewer in here. Better keep moving. My, my, my. A blast from the past. Such an active little spider. Brings back so many memories. You aren't supposed to be here, you know. That voice. That voice. It sounds like... No, oh, it could be. The security systems told me you're here. And you've been very, very naughty. But you just keep running around spinning your webs, little spider. I'll be right with you, so we can relive old times. <sighs> Must be the speakers distorting it. By the way, who builds speakers into sewers anyway? What's up with that? In the gateway room. All right, throw the parts through one at a time. Passing them through the energy stream should reverse the energy buildup, but if you toss them in all together, it'll trigger the. Okay, okay, I get it. We got any clue why Otto's tentacles keep coming out of nowhere? He may still be alive between dimensions and trying to get out. Or drag us in. I wish I knew how to get rid of these shocking tentacles. Have you got the new parts in place? Yeah, I just have to activate the breakers. Good plan. Without getting killed. Ooh, better plan. You're done. What are you doing? I'm activating the breakers. Just hold on. Don't hurry. I'm thinking of staying here. Good. Are you out of your... Okay, let me just finish this and we'll talk. getting a steady power flow. I need to find the schematics to figure out why. If the archives room here is in the same place it is in my time, it should be accessible through a vertical tunnel. You stay put. I've been thinking maybe staying put isn't such a bad idea. Meaning what? Come on, O'Hara. It's not like anti-venom was a fluke. Someone's always trying to kill me, and there's always a chance of my loved ones being caught in the crossfire. If I stay here, no one I love will suffer or die because of me. What about all the good you've done? And will do? The people you'll inspire, including me. 
You're saying the lives of a billion strangers are more important than my loved ones? I'm not saying that. History says that. Yeah, well, history doesn't have to wrestle with guilt. <sighs> or tentacles. They're at it again. All right, stay clear of them. I'll get it figured out on my end. O'Hara, if you're working with the tentacles to convince me that 2099 sucks, then mission accomplished. Anxious to come home? Well, so am I. What's the story? I'm almost to the archives. Almost won't stop these freaking tentacles! Reboot the gateway, would you please? Working on it. Oh, terrific. A voice-coded door. Uh, Miguel O'Hara, 5249. Access denied. Damn, figures. Parker, change in plan. Cancel, please. I can't access the archives on this end, but you can on yours. I'll guide you to the archive room, and you can give me the information I need. The archives room? I, that would be handy. I could look up the people I love and keep them out of danger. Don't you dare poke around in there, Parker. You've already seen the dangers of screwing with the past. Learn from the mistakes instead of repeating them. Uh, fine, fine. Find the architectural plans. Make some changes, but I'll need a computer for that. Then find one! They smelled like a rhino in July. Oh, Hera, they have enough security in here to keep out an army of Spider-Man. Any ideas? I'm trying something here. Did it work? Uh, yeah, mostly. I can deal with the rest. Thanks, O'Hara. Moving on to the next item on our agenda. Good. Now focus. Get the schematics we need. If you run into trouble, I can make modifications from here to simplify your path. That guy 
guys have all the luck. Yeah, I'm stuck again. I'm blocked by a security field. Can you do anything for me? It looks like the security matrix is in the adjacent room. I'm rerouting a vent to you so you can destroy it. Thanks, I'm on my way to the archives. I'm sure I'll be fine from here on out. Just hurry! These shock and tentacles are getting nastier by the minute. On my way! Another security matrix. Great. Okay, the force field should be down by now. about who this is. Souffle. How do you think it's going? Just tell me when you're on your way to the archives. Yep. At least the place still looks the same. Well, the same, but, you know, different. <laughs> this is screwy. One down. the archives. I need access to the other floor so I can get all the keys I need for the classified database. I'll do what I can, but these tentacles are making life pretty shocking difficult. Okay, how's that? It's a start. I can get to the second floor. I'll let you know when I need the others. Almost done. Just one more. Go. I need access to those other floors now. No, of course, Your Highness. I'll get right on that. Just hold your webs a sec, okay? And voila! Now get that key and access the computer. Sir, yes, sir.
Okay, I'm here. So how do I access it? Enter my password. Lila. L-Y-L-A. Access denied. Oh, great. You got any other ideas? <sighs> let, let me think. Oh, I wish I could just say open sesame or grant me access or... Request acknowledged. Access granted. That was weird. Okay, let's go over the starter procedures. Slow down, Parker. It's not that simple. Did you fire up the quark enhancers? Activate the tachyon relays? Yes, yes, I did all that. No, you just... Uncouple the Heisenberg compensators. Yes, of course I... Oh, shuck it, no, I didn't. I was right? Wow. I... Oh, no. What's wrong? It's Mary Jane. She dies. Tonight. Right there at Alchemax. How do you know... For shock's sake, Parker, what part of don't poke around in the archives was unclear? Fine, I'm a nosy Parker, but now that I've found out, it's... It's what? My job to save her? I've got enough to deal with. You can't mean that. You can't just ignore that she's in danger. Hey, I'm trying to focus on what's important. What's important is not standing by and allowing someone to suffer or die because you do nothing. If you don't get that, then you don't get the first thing about being Spider-Man. You're the one who doesn't get it, Parker. The future depends on... My future is meaningless without her. This is gonna be a huge mistake. I owe you, Miguel. Big time. Shock and right you do. But, well, maybe this will help even the score for everything the world owes you. Thank you. I mean that. Man, it must have been crazy to think about staying here. If people I love are going to be in danger, then I need to be there to help them. Oh, now what? Yeah. Is her. Now what's Mary Jane look like anyway? Tall, redhead, in mortal danger. I'm sure you can find her. What's she doing in Alchemax? Does she work here? Uh, no, she was just meeting up with me. We were going out together. This is all my fault. Calm down. I said I'll take care of it. Shouldn't be hard to find. I see her, and she's looking for you. It's my fault she's there. Is she safe? Well, she's not dead, but the tentacles have other ideas. Help her for crying out loud. Mary Jane, head toward the sound of my voice. Mary Jane! What? Oh, thank you. Wait, who are you? I don't care, just help me! Mary Jane! Oh, shock. She's dead, isn't she? Hurry, O'Hara! I'm doing my best. I've got my own problems. Don't talk to me about problems. Calm down. No. Why? Seconds ago, the computer said she was crushed by some kind of falling debris. Now it says she dies in... No, wait, it's changing again. It's the quantum causality, Peter. There's so much happening that it's going haywire. Now calm down. I have enough to deal with without you freaking out in my head. Okay. Okay. What is this? What's going on? Trying to keep it together, Miguel. Just tell me something. I'm trying to find her. Temporal rifts are opening all over. It's like the fabric of space time is being stretched thinner and thinner. It may reach a point where it's irreparable. doesn't end while I'm trying to save one person. Mary Jane, over here! That woman needs her shock and hearing checked. And if I stop to fight these things, there may not be anything of her left to save.
you again. I, at first I thought you were... Oh, but you sound different. Move different. Peter sent me. He did? This means a lot to me. No problem, Peter. Come on, let's get you out of here now. You're talking to Peter right now? He got some sort of cell phone under that mask? A cell what? I mean, uh, sure, that's it. Uh, can I...? You'll have plenty of time to talk to him after all this is over. You'll have your whole lives together. Look, I just want to say... Thank you. You're as brave and unselfish as... Another guy goes by the handle Spider-Man. You're a worthy successor to the name. Thanks. I mean that. Thanks again, Miguel. Enough with the thanks. You ready? Come home? You bet. And leave me again? How much rejection is a girl supposed to take? Black Cat? I was praying I was wrong. Felicia? What if they... Help me, Spider. They they gave me an anti-aging drug. For decades. Made me over. Spider sense going nuts. <laughs> You're lying. The real Felicia, she would have never let them. Never let them what? Turn me into this? You destroyed me, Spider. After what you did, I didn't care what happened to me. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Either I haven't done yet what you claim I did, or you're making this up to mess with my head. And you get to guess which one. Isn't this fun? Not remotely. Aww. You used to have a sense of humor. Dying tends to get you serious in a hurry. Then you're about to get deadly serious. You really gonna do this, Felicia? Never could be, me, cat. Yeah, you'll make us look bad. Don't you wish you had a crown? It ends here, Felicia. Yeah. Felicia, I'm so sorry. Oh, he's so sorry. Help me, Spider. Poor me. You actually fell for that. 
What we ever see in him? Felicia, this creature isn't you! <laughs> you don't get to lecture us on who we are, Spire! Not anymore. Okay, Peter, I'm almost to the gateway. Energy is limited, so we'll have to jump through at the same time. Don't worry, I'll be there. Men are after the gateway room. Tell me when you're there as well. We have to time this right. You got it, Miguel. Oh, how nice. You and your counterpart are on a first name basis now. It's good to know you've bonded. Who are you? I'm the CEO of Alchemax. The real question is, who are you, old friend? Old friend? So this is where you make the big reveal and I say, holy cow, Norman Osborn, or the Kingpin, Jonah Jameson. Come on, please be Jameson. <sighs> All of them long dead, I fear. Too bad they didn't have access to the anti-aging drug we developed. <laughs> Does wonders for you. And I do mean you. No, it, it can't be. Can't be, yes. Why do people always say that? Good thing your future counterpart saved us, eh? Otherwise, we couldn't be this. I, I become the evil mastermind? Oh, don't be melodramatic. With great power comes great responsibility and great opportunity and the only way to live up to all that responsibility is to use every opportunity to get all the power i learned that the day i lost everyone i loved and didn't have the power to stop it what do you mean everyone you'll find out except once i've fixed reality you actually won't find out consider yourself lucky peter it's up and running but it's not tremendously stable where are you i think i think i'm in hell the ceo it's me. What? That's that's insane. How can I be fully shot? Peter, now! Move! Move! Now let me explain it all to you. Explain it to my rapidly retreating backside. Peter, get a move on! I'm going as fast as I can! I can't let it let me end up this way. This is no time for a soliloquy, Peter. I'm barely holding the gateway together. I'm barely holding myself together. Access granted, Mr. Parker. What now? Huh. This is weird. I can't let this happen. I have to get home and do something about it. Increasingly unstable. You're dealing with pure chaos. Kind of like my love life. As soon as we destroy the gateway, it'll go back to normal. Awesome. Is this what you're looking for? You know it is. Well, then come and get it. Peter, are you on your way? Yeah, uh, slight setback. What kind? My ex wants to play cat and mouse. Uh, this is serious. Well, it wasn't my idea. It, just do what you have to do and get to the gateway. You're slipping, son. Oh, now where'd she go? You're getting warmer, spider. 
Don't find me. You know I'm gonna make you work for it. Yeah, but something came through with me. Oh, my God. What's wrong? Those tentacles. They were coming from some kind of... I, I don't know what this atrocity is. In fact, that's what I'm gonna call it. Atrocity. Because big, scary tentacle monster thingy takes way too long to say. How oh, that and Bing Bing Boom was taken. Peter, again, focus. The quantum bridge is building on itself. Like a hurricane. It's a massive time storm. And if we can't get it under control, it's gonna wipe out everything. You know how to solve this, right? The time storm and this atrocity that followed me out? This is a little out of my field, okay? The Parascience boys would be better. Hey, that's it. The Parascience Research Lab. Best bet for all the answers. I'll go there. The time storm's starting to tear everything apart! Ditto here! Not to mention I'm playing tag with this crazy Octo Monster. I don't believe it. A transitional Einstein Rosen Bridge. You mean a wormhole? Uh, yeah, the crazy as it sounds, I can use it to get to the Parascience Research Lab faster. The point is, if you breathe wrong, it could have unexpected consequences. So watch it! Yeah, I'll do my best to watch my step while I'm fighting for my life. Are you shocking kidding me? What did I just tell you? It's not my fault the atrocity took out a wall with his tentacles, okay? Well, be careful! I'm being careful! Tell him to be careful! Power's out. There has to be a backup generator somewhere. Looks like an old DNA card. I wonder if I can get it to work by locking it into this station.
failed experiments could destroy the data box. so I can shut this insanity down. Peter, I think that atrocity is connected to the time storm somehow. What I really need is some of its DNA to complete the analysis. How? It's on this end. Grab a DNA recorder and acquire a sample. Download it into a computer there, and it'll show up here. But if it's not already there, doesn't that mean I've failed? You want a two-hour lecture on the laws of quantum dynamics? No? Then trust me, it won't be visible here until you do it there. Oh, time travel makes my head hurt. So I've got to grab a DNA recorder from the genetics lab. It's not a rare item. You shouldn't have too much trouble finding it. I've got Tentacle Boy after me. Nothing's a walk in the park right now. Point taken. It was practically right next door. That's probably it over there. Easy peasy. Talk about urban renewal. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have seen that coming. And who the heck are you supposed to be? The one who's gonna kill. Oh, welcome to the club. They're having jackets made. What are you, a uh, septuple XL? If I were a DNA recorder, where would I be hiding? Look, as long as you're there, would you mind giving him a quick wash? I'm betting he can't get through those panels. If I could just shut them. from not having a DNA recorder and being chased by Berserk Sushi, just swept. 
Well, get it in gear, because if this time storm escalates, you're gonna have a ringside seat for a brand new Big Bang. I'll get the DNA then. I'm moving as fast as I can. Well, move faster. I hate it when he says that. Talk about your corporate glass ceilings. I hope this one holds up. That air duct looks like the only way out. Gotta go. Thank God it held up. That thing had broken through, but I had me. Now the air duct? What's next? to tear free. Left half my costume behind, but it was worth it. Found a room to hide in, passed out. Where are you now? I'm not sure. Let me check. Oh, finally! Miguel, I found it! The DNA recorder? Yes! Well, don't stand around telling me about it. Use it! On the atrocity! Love this plan. <laughs> Gotta maneuver him into the gas chamber. Come on, atrocity. That's a good little atrocity.
DNA strands integrated. Oh, no wonder I couldn't get a read. That thing's a combination of Sloan, Octavius, and Antivenom. They must have mutated into that thing when they were shoved through. My god. Any weaknesses? At a guess? High voltage. Right now, they're supercharged with quantum particles. If we can reverse the polarity of the gateway and shove it back through, the quantum feedback could reverse the time storm. Why reverse it, Miguel, when we can use it? You know who I- Of course. He knows, so I know. Miguel, you're on the wrong side of this. I'm not the villain here. I'm the guy who's trying to make everything right. Don't you get it? Uh, apparently I don't. When the storm is fully unleashed, I'm going to harness the quantum energy. It will give me complete control over the time stream. Complete con What are you trying to play, God? The first creation of the universe wasn't bad. For a first draft. I'm just going to provide a much-needed rewrite. I can make up for my original sin by saving Uncle Ben. Not to mention Gwen Stacy, her dad, countless others. What kind of villain fixes it so that everyone gets to live happily ever after? You're talking about power no human should have. You'll end up destroying yourself, but not before you've annihilated everything else. Well then, I guess we'll just have to agree to disagree. This discussion is over. It's over when I say it's over! has a gravity reversal system to separate out precious metals. I can use that to get the shock back up there. Excellent. Oh, not excellent. I'm gonna have to reroute more power and overload it to get the upward boost I need. Now, there must be some reserve power banks around here somewhere. I can climb the debris to get higher. trigger a disposal cycle that'll reverse the gravity and get me up to the next level. This is a bad idea. It'll be the last I ever have. Okay, you raving megalomaniac! Here I come! Get ready for round two! Mikael, don't worry, I'm all over this. Peter, these failed freaks are piling on. You sure you can do this? I'm almost to the lab. Piece of cake. This is no time for pastries. Okay, I took out a bunch of them. Any improvement on your end? Some, yeah. Keep it going. No problem. I'll get a move 
on destroying these pods! My own problems. The atrocity's back. Hit him to the gateway room. You got it. That's where it began, that's where we'll end it. We're thinking alike. It took long enough. That did the trick. Miguel, I'm in the time research lab. It's probably in lockdown mode. Yep, that would be the old Parker luck. Yep, locked. Perfect. Need a pass key if I'm gonna get through that door to the gateway. Hey, hall monitor, give me a pass. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Now I gotta what, go in after him? I think I found some sort of prototype, but non-working model. The cars are real enough. But Miguel, any chance that prototype is functional? How the shock would I know? Well, you're Mr. Future Knowledge and everything. I figured maybe you'd know why a guy just disappeared into it with the pass I need, no less. Disappeared? Huh. It might be another operational gateway, or it might be a simple matter transmitter device. Simple? A toaster is simple. A matter transmitter's a little more complicated. If you say so, what's a toaster? What's a toaster? Oh, never mind. back where I came from. before he starts draining quantum energy, or who knows what could happen. All right, here it is. The CEO's tower. I'm coming for you, boss. Miguel, I've been thinking about the CEO. Yeah, me too. Okay, listen, don't even bother trying to get at him from behind. His spider sense gives him the edge. But Captain America once told me that I put too much into my combo attacks and leave myself open for a few moments after them. I know I shouldn't, but I do. Thanks, I'll do that. Oh, well, just don't let the bad guys know. Still hot. 
hiding behind your metal bodyguards? You've gone soft after all these decades. Face it, you're a gutless coward, Peter Parker. Uh, excuse me? Dude, what the hell? I didn't mean you. I, I meant future you. It was nothing personal. Uh, it kind of was. I mean, yeah, take him down. Try not to piss off the superpowered corporate lunatic more than you have to, you know? Fair enough. <laughs> I really didn't want it to come to this. I guess it was inevitable, though. I mean, talk about your boss fights, right? What happened to you, Parker? You used to be the greatest of them all. <laughs> I still am, Sport. The one, the only, Spider-Man. Except no substitutes, including you. You have to listen to reason. No, I really don't. That's one of the joys of being in charge. So if you want to make this personal, you can join me in the gateway room. I'm about to end this! <laughs> the older you is some piece of work. Why? What happened? Meeting up in the gateway room. I'm really starting to hate that place. But, like you said, it began there, and it's gonna end there. Miguel! I'm getting ready to reverse the polarity! But, uh, just in case I blow up the universe, I just want to tell you, it's been fun. Have faith! I'm almost positive this will work! I cleared my schedule for you. I'm sorry it's come to this, but obviously you're part of the problem, not the solution. I was watching the space-time continuum collapse. Any kind of solution? Idiot. I'm absorbing all the quantum particles being unleashed. I'll reshape the timeline any way I wish long before it collapses. Think of it as playing dice with the universe. Einstein would have approved. Einstein's not here, so I guess I'll have to do. Now you're just a Peter, looks like your future self took a page from Iron Man's old playbook. I'm squaring off against some kind of iron spider outfit. That sounds like a crutch to me. If he really had confidence in his own speed and agility, he wouldn't be making with the heavy metal. At least take a challenge. of yours? Um, yeah. I'm just full of surprises. He doesn't know about atrocity. I can use that, especially the anti-venom part. I, I don't understand this. How are those things draining my powers? How? As quickly as possible. That's oh. how. Ah. You can't get away. Let's settle this right now! You can't win, you know. Dragging my powers! 
again? Wait, I remember this. From a century ago. Feels like when I'd be fighting anti metal Soon you won't be feeling anything. We would have made a great team.
lady singing, though. Miguel, it's still out of control. You need to lock it down on your end. And if you do, actually, I don't know. What happens if you do? Then the backlash should collapse the quantum bridge and overwrite all of this, wiping it from existence. And don't say if. I can still take the CEO. His armor's starting to overheat. He can't control the energy, just as I think. This is perfect. The time storm has reached the ideal level for harvesting the quantum particles. Which is a fancy way of saying it's over. There's no way you can pull this off! You're bluffing, Parker! Uh, I am? No, not you, Parker! The other Parker! Keep telling yourself that if it makes you feel better. snap back to normal. If none of it happened, how do you and I remember it? I mean, we've got two different sets of memories in our brains. Shouldn't that be making us, I don't know, crazy? <laughs> crazy? We already dress in skin-tight costumes and fight bad guys for free. Okay, crazy-er. You really want a five-hour lecture on temporal paradoxes? Sure, why not? As it turns out, looks like I have all the time in the world. Theoretical studies were done by Reed Richards, which, since you know personally, is rather ironic. Yeah, that's not really ironic. That's just coincidental. Irony is something completely different. You're correcting my word use now? Is that what it's come to? No harm in being accurate. Okay, fine. Coincidentally, Reed Richards did the first studies, which hypothesized that time is like a vortex. And when major changes occur in the surrounding vortex, anyone who is dead center of the disruption can observe them without being affected, like being in the eye of a storm. He called it the observer effect. It sounds kind of dry. Ooh, how about Armageddon syndrome? How about Armageddon out of here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bad puns, totally my thing. <laughs> you don't own puns. They're not your thing. They're a thing. Well, maybe if you would just explain it right. You're from the future. You're supposed to have all these cool time things. Maybe you should just talk faster. I don't know. Uh, yeah, this is going to take way longer than five hours. 